Since you arrived, uh, you've been uh, performing um, and been among the, the best man of the match uh, on, on a few games. Were you expecting to uh, perform so quick? And um, how do you do you do you explain it? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, it's been good for me. Uh, everything has happened so fast and. Uh, when I came here, the the coach uh, threw me right into the team, and uh, I didn't have many days to think about it. So I just uh, went on the pitch and did what I what I know I could do. So yeah, it's been a good start. So positive about that. Can you um, describe to us your uh, style of uh, playing? <coughs> yeah, well, I'm. Uh, what you like to do on the pitch? Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a dynamic player who likes to, who has a good stamina. Um, I like to uh, to in, get involved offensively, uh, both with the crosses and uh, and passes. Uh, but also, I'm a I'm a defensive player who likes to keep a clean sheet and uh, help the team to uh, to defend well. Now that you are in France. Um what can you say about the, the level of uh, Ligue 2 and it, is it uh, better than uh, Super League? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't know, I don't want to compare anything, but uh, I think uh, the level here in uh, Ligue 2 is very good. Uh, there's some top, top players. Uh, uh, the, the game go fast from one end to another and uh, uh, yeah, it's a good challenge for me, so uh, I think uh, and the level is, is good here. What, uh, what seduced you in uh, the project here in Toulouse and what the, the President Comoli said to you to convince you to sign here? Uh, well, he didn't have to say much. I mean, uh, Toulouse is a big club, so uh, when they want a player uh, like me, uh, I'm of course uh, very interested to hear what they have to say. Uh, and uh, I know Toulouse is a big club, so I was ready for this challenge and uh, I would just take it right away, actually. You, you, you knew the club before signing here, you, you spoke maybe with, uh, I don't know, other players uh, who passed here? Uh, no, but I knew the club because the club is a big one, so... Uh, just in general football knowledge, you know what Toulouse is, um, and uh, and I've uh, spoken with some of my uh, former Norwe Norwegian colleagues who know, uh, for example, Ruben, and uh, yeah, so I heard some some uh, some information through that, but uh, in general, I just knew that it was a big club, so easy one for me. Hey, Michael Vincent uh, for the club. Uh, how was your integration? Inside the team and inside the, the, the city, do you have all your habits with the, with the team and, and with the, the city? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I've uh, adapted good into the team. I've uh, learned my new uh, colleagues very well. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, mostly the foreign players because it's easier to communicate, uh, obvious. Obviously, um, and uh, we almost have a little Scandinavian group here right now. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I think we, the harmony is very good between uh, all the players, and everybody is very friendly and nicely. So it's it's been easy for me. Uh, yeah. You have a, a new uh, fellow countryman uh, who signed uh, this week. Um, what what can you say to us about about him? And uh, did you speak to him before he, he arrived? Uh, no, actually I didn't. I was a bit surprised when I heard about the rumors because uh, I thought that uh, maybe he would reach out to me to hear some info about the club, but he <laughs> he didn't. Uh, maybe he was uh, very convinced that he was coming anyway. But uh, yeah, no, he didn't uh, reach out. But uh, I've spoken with him today and yesterday and. Uh, and he's a good guy, he's a very humble guy, uh, likes to work hard, uh, come from a big club in Denmark. Um, 
So uh, yeah, he's uh, ready to. I think he's ready to take it, take his chance. You played. You played against him in Denmark. Um, yeah, maybe we played a couple of games. I don't really remember. But uh, he's a couple of years uh, younger than me. Uh, but uh, in general, I think I got a good uh, uh, expression from him. He was a good guy. Rasmus is a, a defender. Do you think it's going to be easier for you or better for you to play with someone who comes from the, the same country or, or to speak the same language? Well, yes. Well, I, f I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, the football language is... Uh, is uh, worldwide, you know, you don't need to come from the same country to understand the football language. Uh, but of course, uh, some small things, uh, when you go deep into the, to the stuff outside of the pitch, it's, uh, it's of course easier. But uh, in general, I think uh, the football language is, uh, is uh, global, so yeah. A word about the next game against Dijon. Uh, you are on three victory in a row. So, what could you expect about the, that game against a, a team who was in League One uh, last year? Yeah, it will be a very difficult, tough game. I think uh, all the games we played so far has been difficult and tough. Uh, the op opponent here in League Two is 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 is, is tough, and uh, the victories we got uh, until now hasn't been easy. Um, we have to work really hard for it and uh, we will uh, continue doing that and hopefully we can um, improve our game uh, and then get the, another three points. Since the, the beginning of the season you've played uh, in two different systems with uh, four uh, defense. defenders mm -hmm. or five or three. Mm -hmm. uh, which one do you, do you prefer? I don't prefer anything to be honest. Uh, I can play uh, in both systems. Uh, I like to get forward, uh, so of course with the 3-4-3 three, three, uh, I get more opportunities to do that. Uh, but with the normal uh, uh, four defenders, uh, I, I've been playing like this for the most of my career, so I'm very used to that. So yeah, there's pro and cons for everything, but uh, I'm, I feel very comfortable in, in both systems. You, you have played uh, in, uh, in every category of uh, the youth national team, but never with the A team, I believe. No. Uh, did, did you come here also to uh, take that step uh, national-wise? Uh, no, that's not the main reason I came here. Uh, Do you think about it? Uh, no, I don't actually, because uh, the Danish national team is uh, incredibly strong. And uh, the players who play in the Danish national team plays in big, big clubs, big leagues. So at the moment I don't think about it at all, to be honest. What do you think is left to be improved in terms of uh, the game? To in the next games you're going to play? Uh, we have to be a bit more better and comfortable with the ball, uh, defending with the ball, uh, and uh, a bit more sharper with the, uh, with, the, with the general stuff, like uh, technique-wise, and, and create uh, like we have to just in general have to be better with the ball, all the guys who's on the pitch, and create some better opportunities for us so we uh, yeah, can create more chances. And uh, yeah, that would be in general the thing that we should improve a little bit for the next game. Unfortunately, Michael, it's going to be hot this weekend uh, in Dijon, but after Bastia uh, last weekend, do you get used to the hotness and the sun now in France? No, I will never get used to that, I think. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, we managed it uh, last uh, Saturday, so we're going to manage again uh, this Saturday, I think. Uh, it's just another challenge and a uh, challenge we like, so uh, it's just going to, uh, we just have to go out there and give everything.